Hi friends, I am Shramana and welcome back to my channel Sparkling Future. Before starting with today's topic, I request all of you to subscribe to my channel and also please like, share, comment and hit the bell icon for the latest video notifications. Thank you. One of the most asked Spark interview questions is what are the different modes available to submit the Spark job. So today we will see how to answer this question. There are majorly two deployments, deployment modes available to submit a Spark job. Actually, we can uh, run the Spark job in standalone mode as well. Like in my, in in all my videos, you might have seen, right? I will run the Spark job in the Eclipse itself. So that is called a standalone mode. So you can run the job that is mainly used for testing and uh, uh, what is it? Uh, training purposes only. We cannot test such kind uh, our code with uh, with. With, with that kind of approach locally so we can say majorly two deployment modes available in Apache Spark first one is client mode and second one is the cluster mode in the client mode the local mission so we can also say local mode and client mode both are same so if you want to submit a Spark job in client mode we will see what will happen so let's say this is your local machine and this is the cluster and here we have the yarn resource manager so what will happen is when you submit your job in uh, client mode the spark submit or the spark session doesn't go to yarn resource manager directly okay so the what will happen exactly is the here wait i'll draw it in the local machine itself the driver jvm will be created okay in the local machine itself the driver jvm will be created and then this driver will ask yarn resource manager for giving this worker nodes then yarn resource manager will see how many worker nodes are required for the work given by driver and it will give the list back to driver this is how the client mode works so in your local machine only driver will be created not in the cluster or any of the worker nodes okay so here once it, it the driver has the worker node details then it will schedule the tasks in the worker nodes this is how the client mode works now we will see how the cluster mode works okay in cluster mode when you submit a spark job right first it will request the yarn resource manager for the worker nodes and then this yarn resource manager will start the application master in one of the worker nodes so here I am writing outside the cluster but actually this will happen inside this worker node okay let me draw here only let's say a worker node 2 wherever it want wherever the memory is available it will create the application master here yarn will create the application master and then inside this application master it will create the driver jvm got it so it can be any of the worker nodes and then this driver will request yarn resource manager for allocating the resources then yarn resource manager will check the availability and the request sent by the driver it calculates how many is required then that worker node details will be sent back to the driver then driver will assign the tasks to the worker nodes and if you submit a PySpark application the application will have PySpark driver and we will have the Python workers for working on the Python code so now we have seen both the modes right client mode and cluster mode so what is the difference between these two is the main difference is the driver program runs in the local machine in client mode 
and whereas the driver will work in the driver will be created in the cluster for the cluster mode this is the main difference and when we submit the job in cluster mode we'll have lot of memory also because it will be shared right the all the nodes means each machine each machine will have different uh, memory uh, memory and uh, lot of memory will be available because of the cluster node so all these will be applicable to the uh, driver uh, whatever task it is giving so you can notice that the jobs will be complete earlier than the jobs submitted in the client mode and also in the local mode in shell or something when you submit the job in the client mode you have to wait okay you cannot stop the uh, like that session if you stop then the driver will die because the in the local machine the driver is here so once you shut down your local machine this driver will die but whereas in cluster mode even you can submit your job in cluster mode using a shell where that shell is present in local machine and you can press control z which means that you are stopping that shell but still because the driver is here the driver will not die and it will continue further with the for execution of the spark job so this is the main difference between these two the driver is uh, inside the local machine the driver is inside here for the cluster mode and here this is the client mode rest all will be same rest in both cases it will talk to yarn resource manager for the resources and most of the cases the, the count of the records everything will be same in both the modes just that in some cases if the data is huge some worker nodes might die in local mode when you submit in client mode right so that time you will have a different uh, kind of records the, the count of records okay one of our friends asked this question why there is a difference between the count of the records when i submit with the client and cluster mode but actually there the both in both cases the count of records will be same but only difference is some worker nodes might have died because this is going through the local machine or in the driver would have died in between because of the local machine so best part is to to check in the cluster mode to run it when you have a huge data because we can uh, uh, schedule it i mean we can uh, partitions we can, all the partitions we can use in the cluster mode okay so uh, when we use is when we, which mode we use is this part stand alone testing we use uh, during the personal testing in the sense when you wanted to test if you have so only calculations nothing to do with the hadoop or something and uh, then you can test your code in the standalone mode like right click we, we will usually do right run scala application that one but in most of the cases that will not work out because we will have lot of data frame operations and all that then coming to the client mode when we usually test is when you wanted to do in unit testing mainly for unit testing we use the client mode and for other production related purpose or main project testing purpose we use the cluster mode so these are the three these are the two modes available in spark and uh, this is the main difference between these two hope uh, this is useful to you friends thank you for watching the video please subscribe to my channel for more interesting learning and if you have uh, any specific question related to any of the real time scenarios please post it in the comment section i'll surely get back to you thank you friends